Alrighty, and welcome back, Beards and Dragons fans, to another episode of Super Mario RPG. We are in the Nimbus Town Castle. Uh, with me, as always, is Jet. How are you doing today, Jet? I'm doing fantastic. I am honestly not sure what our goal is right now. I've kind of not been paying attention the past couple of episodes, but I'm, I'm here. Um, we are gaining the levels with that sweet, sweet XP. Okay. And we gotta kill the lady with the disproportionately large lady. Oh, well, cool. Parts of her are disproportionately large. Gotcha. For like, a children's game from Super Nintendo. Okay, I was about to ask is it like, you know, appealing to male fantasy kind of yes. disproportionate or like ugly kind of disproportionate? Uh, well, I believe that the official art of her actual face is. Mm -hmm ugly and but she is also disproportionately large in certain areas gotcha that's like that um the female villain from i think oracle of seasons seasons or ages uh where the main villain is a female okay is it vivian i don't remember let me see I have not gotten super far in those games yet, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, I don't... I can't remember her name. Not cool, bro. Uh, I don't remember her name, but... Yeah, I know she's kind of that way where it's like... You know, in the game, it's all pixelated, so whatever. But when you look at the official art for it, it's like, whoa. They were doing something. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Looking at some of those games we played as kids, it's just like... How is this allowed? Oh, yeah. No. Well, it's like, my favorite thing is, like, people talking about how violent the LEGO video games are. And how, if it was anything yeah. other than LEGOs, it would be, like, banned from most uh, stores. And I was like, yes. that's fair. I mean... If it was literally anything other than Legos, people would probably yeah. have a lot of issues with it. And I feel like at some point in the Lego games that when they were discussing the co-op, they said, do we want to turn off friendly fire? And somebody legitimately said, no, leave it on. <laughs> well, there's in some of the games, I think there's an option to turn it on and off. Like you can toggle it, but Is they it? didn't do that for a long. Yeah, I'm wanting huh. to say... I'm wanting to say in the Batman Lego games it's like that. Or maybe it was just on the Wii version or something like that, but I'm pretty sure that you could turn it on and off. Uh, huh. Maybe you had maybe you had to unlock something to be able to do it. I don't remember, but I and I could just be wrong. It's been a it's been a while since I played Well, I shouldn't okay. say that. I actually about a year ago was going through and playing all the Lego games. Um uh, I didn't get very far, but I played through the complete saga again, Indiana Jones, and the first two Batman games, and then I was like, alright, I'm good. Yeah, I've... I'm not entirely sure, because I've never tried to turn it off. I've just played in the way it's like, okay, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what makes those games fun. Like, I know that they're meant for, like, younger kids and everything, Yeah. but, like, dude, I love those games. They're just... You can turn your mind off, enjoy all the different characters, and like especially with that new one, the Skywalker Saga, that yeah. was I, that was impressive. Did I just skip a boss fight? It looks like it. Oh, uh, springs are up ahead, but only royalty. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's, uh, which one do you go on? I'm guessing it's just the one with the face every time? Oh. And there she is, Queen Valentina. She has a parrot on her head. Whether okay, it's alive I was... or not, I don't know. 
And can you see what I'm talking about? Oh, now? okay. No, I, I see it now. I have been thinking that the parrot was her face. I didn't realize that was something on her head. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. Yes. Um, yeah, it's... It's a flattened parrot on her head. I don't know if it's supposed to be alive or not. Okay. But... Probably not. I hope it's yeah. dead. That would, that would make me happy. There. I sent the official artwork in chat. Alright, wait, let me see. That gum. That is one of the scariest looking... <laughs> yeah. Mario. Dude, that's terrifying. That's something... Do you remember the movie Robots that came out in like 2004? Uh, yes. It looks like a character from that. Yeah. That is ugly. Ah. What? I didn't. I thought I skipped it because. Oh. What the? No, oh, it's taking you to a cage fight. about to say you might want to heal. Oh, you prevented me from using the abilities that I don't use anyway. <laughs> well, there we go. That was not difficult. <laughs> I wonder if it takes off a chunk of his hit points because I hit him with the star. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. She's just... She's creepy. Yes. Uh, I did find some fan art that made her... Gave her a normal face. So... I don't know what's up with that. I, I mean, it helps. It helps a lot, but... She needs more than that. She needs a normal face. She needs not more a parrot on her head. Not a parrot. She needs more than like two chopsticks worth of waste. Like that is that's what gets me the most is just how small that waste is. Um I feel the need to point out the jiggle when I hit the enemy. I haven't noticed, but Okay, I did see it that time. Nintendo knew what they were doing. Of course. I know that they did that a good bit in the Zelda games, too. I mean, like yeah, because they have... Uh, what's her name? The... Gerudo gal. Oh, yeah. Ogrina. Yeah. And she's, like, laying it on pretty heavy to Link. Oh yeah, no, as a child, no less. Oh, you were handsome as a kid. I had no idea. Yeah, what, what was it? Uh, oh, if I had known how handsome you are going to grow to be, maybe I would have kept my promise or something like that. Yeah, I was like, uh... Yeah, no. There, there's a few in Zelda. Uh, Breath of the Wild had a couple. I don't remember what they were specifically, but... Um, the great fairies. Yeah, that's true. I kind of forgot about that. I never really pay attention to them because, like, I'll always just skip that because I'll have, like, you know, 15 pieces of armor that I want to upgrade. But, yeah, no, they, like, increasingly get a little bit more, uh, touchy with Link as you go along. Whenever we get wow. to Breath of the Wild, which will be a while, uh, if we get that far, but if we do, 
I'm I'm tempted to just like speed run it. Yeah. I, I'm not like extremely good at speed running or anything. Like I don't use the like bomb parachute thing or any of those exploits. But at one point I could beat it in just a couple of hours. But yeah, I've not beaten it yet. I've really? gotten to the last to the point where it's like, okay, I've got pretty much everything. I just need to go beat Ganon. Yeah. And then I just kind of kind of was like. Oh, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. I will say, the final Ganon fight is really good. I enjoyed it. Well, okay, it's anticlimactic, but in terms of a boss fight, it was good. I wish it was a little bit better for the end of the game, but it's still a really satisfying boss fight. I just want Breath of the Wild 2 to have actual dungeons. Actual dungeons and actual bosses. Uh, and an actual story. Yeah. Like, I, just, yeah, I want them to take what they did in Breath of the Wild and keep using it, but just make it better. I, I want them to take the gameplay of Breath of the Wild and put it into Skyward Sword. Like, that type of story. Yeah. I'd be okay with it having a little bit less story than Skyward Sword. Like, I love that story to death. But, yes, it, but it is a little bit heavy at times. Like, okay. I don't more need a to the Skyward cutscene. Sword side and less to the Breath of the Wild side. A nice Twilight Princess kind of story. There you go. That's a good medium. So I found out yesterday that in Mississippi you can get a license and then own a ton of different, like, not exotic animals, but like animals that you wouldn't normally think of as pets. And one of them was you can buy a wolf and raise it as your pet. Huh. And this this dog looks terrifying, the one that they were selling. It is like a just big black wolf. And nice. <laughs> dude, it was like three thousand dollars, so it was expensive. But I was like, I want one. <laughs> like, and one of two things. One, name it Link, because of Twilight Princess and all that kind of stuff. That would be fun. Or two, name it Lucifer, and then make it your guard dog. And instead of teaching it to attack when you say sick him, have him attack when you, like, go fetch me their soul. And it's just, like, make him the most terrifying, like, hell dog you can. So you should name it Cerberus. <clears throat> Cerberus would be good. I thought about uh, Fenrir from Norse mythology. There you go. Uh, and there's another one. Uh, Fenrir looks hecka creepy. Yes, Fenrir is in a very creepy looking wolf. Hmm. I feel like Cerberus would be better for like a bulldog, though. Or maybe, yeah. no, maybe a Bulldog or a Great Dane, because they just look mean. <laughs> but I'm happy with mine so far. I got Majora and I got Fi, so I got two pretty good names for them. Nice. Just got to name one Midna and Navi and Tattle and... Just keep going down the list. We don't, we don't name it Navi. We, we don't speak of that name. She isn't that bad. Yes, she is. Do you really think so? Yes, I do. Fi okay. is worse. Fi is worse. See, I never really thought of them as all that bad because, like, I just uh, skipped through it, and like, it's. On the Wii, Fi was a little bit more annoying because, like, your battery's running low. You change your battery. And then if you, like, she continue to beep at you until you talk to her. But in yeah. the Switch, they fixed that. So I, one thing I, I, the reason I don't like Navi is just because of that. If you play it on headphones or anything like that, it's like at the end of the game, it's like, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Uh, Hey, listen, oh, yeah. it's like, I understand that there's a door there that I can open. You need to stop doing that. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I can agree with that. 
the problem I have with Phi is that while watching you play through that game, I can safely say that 95% of what she says is completely irrelevant. And if oh, she would have just not done it, the story would have been absolutely the same. No, absolutely. Like, I, I agree with that. They did it to make, you know... They wanted her to be robotic. Like, that was... Yeah. They they did what they wanted to do. I think they should have made her have personality and then maybe made Gear him the one that was more robotic. I think that would have made him a little bit creepier. But, uh... At the end of the day, I, th I still think it's a great game. Uh, it's not my favorite game of all time anymore, but it is definitely still up there. Aww. It's just a, it's, it's a feel-good game. Mallow is a prince. Oh, good for him. A useless prince, but a prince nonetheless. I had someone buy, like, five of my posters today. Yeah? Uh, which I was happy about. They bought uh, some of my Fire Emblem ones and uh, some Dota ones that I've done. And I was like, sweet. Thank you very much. I will take your money, please. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I charged, like, let's see, how much? I think each one was like $28. Free shipping. And they cost me $17 to make, so I'm making about 11 bucks. So it's not okay. it's not bad. Now I gotta figure out how do I get back. I don't think that's the one I want. That's not the one I want. Okay. So you remember how I told you that I was playing the mobile MOBA games lately? Yes. Well, be proud of me, because I literally got to uh, the highest rank and ranked in one of them in the course of nice. one week. I mean, yeah, but that's me playing like a couple of matches every night. I've lost two matches since I started playing, and I don't know if like my skills from Smite are just carrying over and this game is much easier, or if everyone is just really bad. Like, I'm pro- it's a mobile game, so I'm probably playing against a bunch of five-year-olds, but mm. still. <laughs> it has been a very fun game, though. Like, I- I've never been one to hate on mobile games, uh, but this one's been really fun. Hmm. Okay. Ah. I was hoping that was going to be a star. It's also one of the first mobile games I've ever spent any money on. Hmm. I spent like five bucks to get the battle pass thing. Uh-oh. Hey, there we go. I'm going to say the only other app that I ever spent money on was Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. Uh, and that was because I really wanted Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah. And even then it cost me like 99 cents. So I, I, yeah. I, think I'm, I think I've done pretty well. I've played games before too where it's like I put 99 cents into it and then... It's a chained Kong. I mean, yeah, so many of those games have the thing where, like, oh, you get all these bonuses, like, after the first time you spend money. Yeah. So, it's like, okay, I can drop 99 cents. And, I don't know, I've always kind of had the mindset of, like, you know, I would spend $60 on a game that I would play at home. Yeah. It shouldn't bother me to drop a couple of dollars on an app if I'm enjoying it, so. Yeah. Oh, my God. Always, all these enemies. Smite, I've done pretty well with. Uh, I have... Sp I've probably spent around 100, 130 bucks on it over the past, like, seven years of me playing it now. Smite? 
Yeah. Oh. Uh, and... I have a ton of really expensive stuff, though, on my account because of just, you know, being smart, winning competitions, uh, being in streams and getting them, stuff like that. Uh, so, even though I haven't spent a ton of money, I have about the same amount of stuff that most whales have in the game. For I anyone that doesn't know, a... <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, a gaming whale is someone that spends outrageous amounts of money in a, a game. Uh, you see them a lot in MMOs, usually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, not well, all MMOs you can pay to win. Uh, I know no. originally you couldn't in WoW. It was just those people that spent a redonkulous amount of time in the game. Yeah. But they've kind of they've kind of mixed added it. You can pay money to get yeah. better at them, but some of them are just straight up pay to win. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Well, I mean, to be fair though, it doesn't have to be pay to win to still become a whale. <laughs> um Yeah. Like, with Smite, I would not say that game is pay to win. It, you do have to work to get the characters, but it's in a pretty balanced state at the moment, so it's not like there's just one character that's so much better and that if you don't have them, you're going to lose every match. Uh, no, but, I mean, you can have those, like, League of Legends, you can pay to get all the characters, but... Can you? I thought League of Legends didn't have that. Like, you could buy several different bundles and get, a, you know, probably a fifth of them. Uh, I, I think... think you can get all of them with the paid crystals now. Okay. But I'm not 100%, so don't quote me on that. But I th oh, but yeah. I think you can. I think you can pay, like, the blue crystals or whatever if you pay. like. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I read somewhere that, like, the cost to get everything was ridiculous. It's like... A few thousand, at least. <laughs> Or, like, no 1,800 doubt. or something like that. I can see it being that, about that much because... Um, I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere that if you wanted to unlock one champion, it would be about ten dollars. Uh, and they have like a hundred and fifty something now, so. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I put twenty bucks into that game or something. I haven't spent any money on League. Uh, I unlocked some stuff through Amazon or through Prime Gaming. Yeah. Uh, but I I haven't spent any money on it. I. I spent a little bit of money on Dota when I used to play. I bought a couple of skins because you can get some pretty cheap skins in those games for like, a, you know, 80 cents and stuff like that. Uh, and plus the money goes to hey. the community artists that made the stuff usually. So I was Bowser like, oh God, I don't mind this. Uh, I learned Bowser Crush and Psych Bomb. Nice. nice. Okay, so there's a save point and a store like halfway through this dungeon. Okay. And that is what I'm trying to get to. Okay. And then we will fight the super cool boss next time. Okay. The Axum Rangers. Ooh. Are they like the Power Rangers? Yes, they are. Fantastic. I used to love the, that show. <laughs> Have you ever heard about how, um, like, what happened to the original Power Ranger cast? Like, how they um, were just treated really badly on set and everything? Yeah. Well, the Blue Ranger, I know, came out and, like, talked about how all the staff made fun of him because he was gay. Yeah. And then, but, yeah, I mean... Back in the day, like those kid shows, they didn't pay them <laughs> well. No. To take care of them. I didn't realize it, but they were getting paid, I think, less than $100 per episode. Like, it was insanely low. And they were like, oh, well, we're, all, we're paying you in uh, publicity and stuff. And it would be like, oh. 
And, yeah, no, I heard that it was pretty bad. Moist Critical did a good video on it. Everybody's favorite word. Moist. Moist. I never got why people were bothered by that one. I don't know. I would say damp is worse for me. Hey, there he is. Henopio. Ooh. What's up? Just that guy. I he's he looks Hispanic. Like stereotypical Hispanic kind of guy. Yeah. What do you want? So what does he do for you? Uh, sell stuff. Oh. Anything important? Um, let's see. No. Gotcha. Honestly, no. I get to sleep on boxes. That's not really a room. That's some boxes in the corner of a shop. Hey. Is that Star that's, Fox? That's from Star Fox. That's uh, the Blue Falcon. And, and that's the hefty guys thing. And... Okay. I thought he had weapons, but he apparently does not. <laughs> and that's going to do it for this episode we fought a boss next time we get star number six and then and final then boss uh then we have to go through bowser's castle and then it's smithy's castle on the final boss so maybe four or five more episodes should be okay cool sounds good to four, me i'm just here yeah. along for the ride if we keep the uh it might be two 30 minute episodes and then a long one and just do all of Smithy in the in the one episode I'm I'm here for whatever sounds like a plan <laughs> but everybody if you like what you see you know what to do and thank you for sticking with us yeah absolutely we will see you next time bye